Hello, hello and welcome to another Monday's live stream. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between a LinkedIn profile and a LinkedIn company page and whether you should have one or not. So I'm Bex from Social Media Executive and I train businesses how to effectively use social media to generate new leads. And LinkedIn is one of the platforms that I specialize in. And it's a great platform for generating a good return on investment and a good reach as well compared to some of the other social media platforms. But what a lot of people tend to do is actually focus on their business page, their company page, rather than their LinkedIn profile. So today I'm just gonna run through some of the differences there are between the two and actually which one is the best to use it depending on your objectives okay so if you are watching this live please do give us a thumbs up say hello and uh, join the chat as well ask me any questions whilst I'm live and if you're watching this on catch up again just pop any questions in the chat underneath and I will happily answer them for you so this live stream is brought to you uh, by the social flock. So if you haven't heard about the social flock yet, then you're missing a trick because for those businesses that do their social media in-house, but procrastinate over what to post on social media, are too busy to think of continual ideas and ultimately then don't consistently post on their social media, then the social flock will help you solve that problem because we empower you to get it done. We don't do it for you, but we help you get it done. So the social flock provides training on how to increase the reach of your posts, as well as we hold regular content writing sessions on Zoom, where we all come together and I challenge everyone in the room to write three posts within 40 minutes. And again, it does happen. So if you procrastinate too long over your social media content, then please do come and join the social flock. Uh, it's an annual membership and you can join for just £45 a month. And that includes all the training and all the content writing sessions each week as well. So I shall put those on the chat. Now, one of the questions in the social flock was, what is the difference between a company page? One of our members didn't have a company page. So... I said, well, do you know what? I will do a live stream and tell people whether it's worth actually having a LinkedIn company page. So that's where we are today. Oh, hi, Paul. Nice to say, nice to hear from you. Paul's, Paul's got his butties, his roast chicken from Subway. Oh, nice, nice. I do like a good Subway sandwich. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> okay, so again, if you're watching, give us a thumbs up and just say hello always love to see people who are watching watching us live right then so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to share my screen and i'm going to send show you the fundamental differences between a linkedin personal profile and a linkedin company page but before we jump straight in ultimately your linkedin profile is you as a person it's a profile about you and you should have your pictures on there and a linkedin company page is for the company, which should have your company logo on there, okay? LinkedIn company pages are really ideal for branding, raising, you know, raising awareness of your company, whereas your actual profile is more for you as an individual. If you're a business owner, if you're a salesperson on LinkedIn, it's a potential, a great marketing tool for you to do prospecting, basically, and get to know and connect with and network with individuals. OK, so I'm just going to jump straight in now and share my screen. And I'm going to run through some of the fundamental differences to help you decide whether a company LinkedIn page is better to use more frequently rather than a personal LinkedIn profile. OK, so let's just bear with me again. If you've got any questions as we're going along, please do just um, add them to the chat. OK, right then. So first of all, I'm going to start on the LinkedIn profile. Oh, there's me going live. <laughs> that always does, does surprise me. So I'm live on here 
I'm going to scroll down. Normally, you, you're when I'm not live on LinkedIn, we'll have a banner there, which will promote and tell you what I do. So this is my personal profile. OK, now what we've got here is a little logo here. This is my company page. So it's linked to my company page. So anyone that has a personal profile on LinkedIn can basically, if we scroll down, can basically link to the company page. And then you are associated member of staff on your company page. OK, and you get that little logo that will sit up there. If you've not got a company page or you're not linked correctly to your company page, you'll have a little gray box there. OK. So what is the benefit? Well, if you are looking at if you're looking at personal profiles, so my personal profile here. You're going to get a higher reach if you're posting regularly on your personal profiles than you are on a company page. As, as an individual on your profile, you can also invite people to connect. So you can connect with other individuals. You can follow other individuals. You can follow pages as a person, from a personal profile. You also need a personal profile to set up a company page. But anyone in your company can set that page up. That doesn't matter. And they can invite lots of members of staff to be admins onto the company page. But with a personal profile, it's your profile. It should have your image, your image photo there because it's about you. It has a history of what, you know, your experience, where you've worked. It will have things like your skills and your recommendations. OK. Now, you cannot get recommendations on a company page because you, you're recommending the individual. Now, who's, say, who's to say they may bring in reviews in future? But at the moment, you can't leave reviews on a company page like you can on an individual one. OK, so. You've got this. This is really it's kind of your personal profile is spaced out. It's, it's based features. It, it features like a CV, really. But you can still post content um, and actually you can still set it up as more of a marketing page like I do. So you can advertise what you do. But if you've got more than one person in your company, then it's certainly worth thinking about a company page. OK, so this is the company page. Now we're looking at it from behind the scenes. So. As if I click here, I can view it as member as a member. So this is my company page. This is what you will see. So again, you've got your company name here, the logo, the branding. So immediately people are beginning to see that branding. People can follow your page, but not only that, you can then invite people to follow your page who you're connected to. OK, so if you've got five members of staff, in your company and they've all got a personal profile and they're connected to lots of people they can all invite people to follow the company page you can add them as admins to post on the company page okay and now as company pages when we go into the home feed you can actually like and comment on posts as you as a person or as the company page, if you're an admin or you created that company page, which is great for raising that brand awareness. OK. So, again, people can follow your page and if they follow your page, when you do a post like this, then basically your followers may have the opportunity to see that post in your newsfeed. You can also list events on your company page which sit predominantly at the bottom prominently at the bottom of your page okay it you've got a nice about section where you can talk about your company put your links okay to to the company page you have your posts if you've got any jobs you can list jobs on your company page and any people who work for your company will sit under here as well okay so the beauty about having a company page as well is, is when you write a post, you can tag in a company page. So you could tag in an individual, but you can also tag in your company page to help raise awareness of that company page. 
So if I just click back on here, again, we'll go back into the admin section. Let me just click back. Just bear with me. So in the admin section here, you, we can invite connections. So this is how we invite connections to our company page. It will give you some nice analytics. Again, you can get analytics on your personal profile, but you also get them for your business profile. Down, you can now as well get messages. So people can actually message your company page now. Anyone can message your company page. Whereas a personal profile, people can only message you if they're connected to you or are paying for LinkedIn Premium. You can list events and you can also set up lead gen as well. You can set up lead generation forms on LinkedIn again, which is a relatively new feature. So my recommendation really is if you have got a couple of people that work in your company, at least it's certainly worth thinking about creating a company page because company pages are searchable as well. So if people were searching for social media training, then my company page is likely to pop up. And as you can see, in the last seven days, my company page has reached 2.9 thousand people, okay, just in the search appearances alone. So I wouldn't have reached those people if I hadn't have had a business page. So one of the be beauties of having that business page as well is if we go into the home feed, I can write a post as me okay but i can also like a post as my personal profile but i can also then like a post as my company page and again i can comment on anyone's post as my company page again to raise that brand awareness but like anything and there's always a but is that if you've got a company page then you've got to post content on both. Now you can post the same content on both, but that's not always best practice. So you really do need to have a think about how much time you've got, how many resources you've got, and if your company is growing. If your company is growing and you are wanting to attract more leads, then a company page is an ideal way to do that. As you can see, with search appearances through your pro my personal profile, I've only reached 109. Whereas with my business profile, let's just jump back onto my business profile, you will see I've reached a lot more people. So again, there are pros and cons to both. But if you're looking at actively prospecting on LinkedIn, then your personal profile is the one you need to focus on. If you're looking at growing brand awareness with help from the rest of your staff, then really what we're looking at is really thinking about creating that business page. Basically, they are adding more and more features to LinkedIn company pages. LinkedIn are investing more time and resources into company pages. So again, it's worth thinking about and setting one up. And personally, I think it looks more professional as well if someone's looking at your profile and can see a link to the company page. It builds up that trust. So again, if you've got any questions, do let me know. And if you need help creating a company page, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to put on a little workshop for people who haven't got company pages uh, and want to create one. So please do let me know. And also follow, but do follow my company page as well, because I do share lots of tips and advice on social media. And if you want to join the social flock, then please do um, look at the link in the chat and come and join the social flock. And certainly if you've got a company page and a profile, personal profile, we can provide you with lots of ideas for different content for both of those platforms. But if you've decided after this live stream, then you really, really, really just need to focus on your personal LinkedIn profile, then I'm running a workshop over a month, starting tomorrow, and we do an hour 
a week for four weeks. And it's only £225. And I'm going to teach you how to prospect on LinkedIn, how to actually get leads on LinkedIn, and also how to link up with that company profile as well. So if you're really serious about making your LinkedIn work for you to drive traffic and actually to get new business, then this workshop, this intensive workshop is delivered live on the platform and we'll show you how to do it. So those are the differences between a LinkedIn company profile and a LinkedIn personal profile. So again, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Any questions, pop them in the chat, even if you're not watching live, then please do ask any questions and I'll happily share them and come back and respond to them um, after the live stream's finished. So thanks for watching, guys. Please do give us a like and follow me on social media. And I will see you next week, 12.30, for some more social media tips. Bye for now.